Hi all, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity, configure and verify NTP. Yes, uh, in this activity, we are going to configure NTP on R1 and R2 to allow time synchronization. Yes, here we can see uh, R1 and R2. So NTP, that is network time protocol synchronizes the time of day among a set of distributed time servers and clients. While there are a number of applications that require synchronized time, this lab will focus on correlating events that are listed in the system log and other time-specific events from multiple network devices. So NTP uses the user data protocol as its transport protocol, all NTP communications use coordinated universal time. Right here uh, they talk about uh, this NTP. An NTP server usually receives its time from an authoritative time source such as an atomic clock attached to a time server. It then distributes this time across the network. NTP is extremely efficient. No more than one packet per minute is necessary to synchronize two machines to within a millisecond of each other. Yes, this is all about uh, NTP. Now we will come to uh, step one, NTP server. Uh, server N1 is already configured as the NTP server for this topology. Verify its configuration under services NTP. Right here we can see that N1 uh, NTP server uh, as they mentioned this uh, NTP server is already configured in this topology. Uh, we can verify uh, we have to go to services and here we can see this NTP. Yes here we can see that NTP is on. Also here we can see the uh, details. Here uh, we can see the time also we can see the uh, date. Great. Now we will come to uh, B. Uh, from R1, ping N1. So we are going to ping to uh, this NTP server. Uh, here they given the IP address. To verify connectivity, the ping should be successful. And repeat the ping to N1 from R2 to verify connectivity to N1. Right. We will uh, do this now. First of all, we will get the IP address of this NTP server from this uh, server machine. We will come to command prompt. Here we are going to give IP config. And here is the IP address. Going to copy that. Now we will come to R1. Enable. Here we are going to ping to that server. We are waiting for the replay. Here we can see the success rate is 80 percent. Right, we will try once more. Yes. Yes, here we can see success rate is 100 percent. Now we will, <coughs> sorry, we'll go to R2. CLI, here we can see. Enable, here we are going to ping to the server. Okay, success rate is 80 percent. We will get now 100 percent. Oops, yes, we'll give this command. Yes. Now we will come to uh, step two, configuring the NTP clients. Uh, Cisco devices can be configured to refer to an NTP server to synchronize their clocks. This is important to keep time consistent among all devices. Configure R1 and R2 as NTP clients so their clocks are synchronized. Both R1 and R2 will use N1 server as their NTP server. To configure R1 and R2 as an NTP clients, issue the commands below. So here uh, they given that configuration, use the NTP server command to specify an NTP server as shown below. So we have to go to global configuration mode and we have to give NTP server and that server IP address. The same command we have to uh, give on uh, the other router that is uh, R2. We will come to the configuration now. Here we are, we will go to global configuration mode. 
here we are going to give a NTP server and the IP address 209.165.200.2 now we will do it on R2 configure terminal here we are going to give a NTP server and server IP address yes now we will go to B uh, check the clock on R1 and R2 again to verify that they are synchronized right so we are going to uh, check with the help of a show clock on R1 and R2 we will come to R1 here we are going to give a show clock right and here we can see the details yes we can see the time now yes it is 19 it is a 7 1 p.m. yes here we can see that 19 1 33 we can see it is August uh, 1 2017 right here we can see that yes so now uh, it's the same time uh, what is in the uh, n1 server here we can see that in services ntp yes here we can see that yes it is august 1st 2017 and also we can see the time here now we will uh, verify on r2 show clock right here we can see that yes so here they given a note when working on physical routers allow a few minutes before r1 and r2 clocks are synchronized right are the clocks synchronized yes in this uh, packet tracer activity uh, clocks uh, are synchronized r1 and r2 have the same time as uh, n1 yes uh, we have seen a small packet tracer activity uh, configuring network time protocol that is uh, MTP and uh, after that we verified yes dear friends uh, if you have any doubt uh, please comment below also if you like my channel you can subscribe the channel so that you will get latest uploading video info into your gmail thank you